Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to this video looking at our Garden Gnome Package Viewer. Now, both Pano 2VR and Object 2VR can export packages. The package is a single file format, but it contains all of the files of the output, but it's compressed into a single file. Okay, so this was originally designed for CMS websites such as WordPress, but We've also got a desktop application called the Package Viewer that enables you to open these up locally. It's also good if your customer wants to download the Package Viewer, then that, that means that you only have to send your uh, customer a single file for them to open. Anyway, so this is uh, basically our website and to get the Package Viewer, you just go to Products, select Package Viewer, it opens up the page. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and you can see we've got a version for both Windows and Mac. Okay, now I've already downloaded the package viewer for my Mac and created a desktop shortcut. Now what I need to do now, of course, is get a package. So I'm going to open up a Pano 2 VR project. Um, if you want to know how to do this for Object 2 VR, please check out the documentation. But for Pano 2 VR, we've got this convenient little button. When I hover over it, it says Generate Garden Gnome Package. When I select this, it opens up a save dialog box. I'm going to save it to the desktop, select Save. And there it is. I'm just going to close everything so we can get back to the desktop. And there is the package. Okay, by default, the package will open up with Pano 2 VR or Object 2 VR. If you want to open it up with the package viewer, just drag and drop it onto the icon and it will open. It decompressed and we can see the output. The output, uh, the package viewer supports all the features of Pano 2 VR, so pinned video, projections, if I can change the projection here, and also full screen mode and all of that as well. So it contains or, 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 or supports all of the features. Okay, so that's just opening up the package viewer with just dragging and dropping. Um, if, your, if your customer has got the package viewer and you send them a package, all they need to do is just double click the package and it will open up with the package viewer by default. Okay, so that's another good way. You can also open the package viewer, here it is, and you can see you can choose a file. So let's just do that. And that will decompress it and open it, there we go. Or if we double click and open the package viewer can drag and drop onto the dark area and that opens it that way. Now the package viewer doesn't only open packages. If we have a look at the project, I can drag and drop the output directly in there and it opens that as well. Now here you probably would have noticed there was no decompressing because the output folder is not compressed. So it opens straight away. Now here's another little trick that we can do. Now this is a Mac only trick. I'm going to um, copy the output folder to the desktop and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rename this and turn the output into a package. I'm going to call it um, tour and I'm going to add a file extension of ggpkgd. All right so package uh, viewer uh, or package format and directory. When I press return it asks me do I want to add this Yes, add that, and you'll see that we get the package viewer icon, but here it says Garden Gnome Package Directory. If I double click this, it will open you know, the package viewer. If you've not got it associated with Pano 2 VR or Object 2 VR, it will open up in the package viewer, and it opened up straight away without any decompressing. Okay, so that's various ways of opening outputs and packages. Now the package viewer has a hidden uh, feature. If you double click the dark area, you'll see that we've got these options that appear. Now the reason why they're hidden, because they can be a little bit difficult to get out of if you don't know the software. So basically you can select open full screen and kiosk mode. Now for the Mac, these are two slightly different um, uh, features or options. On Windows, it's the same thing. But I'll just show you on the Mac quickly. So we're going to open up the uh, or select open in full screen. I'm going to close the package viewer. Open up my package. It opens full screen as it says. But when I move the mouse to the top of the screen, you'll see that I, the, the menu bar drops down and I can close the package. OK, that's fairly painless. But if I now deselect open full screen and select kiosk mode, do the same thing. I'm just going to close the package viewer, but this time round, I'm going to open the package. It goes to full screen, but I can't get out. There's no options. Or there's, 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 there's no menu sliding down. The only way to get out of this on the Mac is to press and hold Command and then Q to quit. All right. 
So what I'm going to do is just get out of this mode. So double click, deselect kiosk mode, command Q, and that quits me out. Now for Windows, this is slightly different. So I'm going to go to Windows, I'm going to open up the package viewer, double select or double click in the grayed out area or the dark area, and I'm going to select the uh, kiosk mode. Again, this will be the same for kiosk mode or full screen. Close the package viewer, and now I'm going to open a package. Okay, the package opens in full screen, it decompresses and opens as it did before on the Mac, like it did on the Mac. And now to exit out of this, what you have to do is press the Windows button and then right button click on the package icon in the um, uh, taskbar. Once you've done that, you can then select close window. Okay, and that's how you get out of the full screen or kiosk mode on Windows. I'm just going to open up the package viewer again, uh, deselect for uh, uh, kiosk mode. Again, press Windows button, right button click in the package viewer icon, and then select close window. Okay, right. Back to the Mac then. What I'm going to do here is show you one last feature that we've got, and that's going to be a new component that's going to ship with Pano 2 VR 6.1.12. But basically what this new component is, is a close button, which will enable you to close the package viewer. Okay, from in, from within inside the panorama. So what I'm gonna do is if you haven't got this, so if, so if you're still on version um, 6.1.11, um, you can go to our website for this. So let's just go to the Garden Gnome uh, uh, forum, go to the skins forum and components. And here you can see we've got the close button for the desktop, uh, desktop viewer. You'll also find it under the components um, listing or the index here. Okay, I've uh, you know I've already done that. I've selected this, downloaded it, and um, I've added it to uh, my components uh, uh, toolbox. So I'm going to open up Pano 2 VR, open up the skin editor, select the components toolbox. Um, as, it's, as this is uh, 6.1.11, it doesn't have the component added as one of the main components. So I've added mine to the user defined, and here it is. If I double click, I'm gonna add it to the skin. You'll see it says close package viewer silhouette. And here is the close button. If I select close and save, I'm now gonna recreate the package. And again, save it to the desktop. It will complain, so I'm gonna overwrite it, so replace it. And there we go. I'm just going to close all the windows down and now when I open up the package what we will see is a close button so if your customer does like to have the full screen option this makes it easier for them to get out of because when you close the button it does what it says and will close the package viewer anyway that's all about the package viewer and as always thanks for watching